What's going on? It's Kev Obato and I'm back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can dual boot your Steam Deck to run Botticera. This way you can run Botticera, have this fancy emulation set up, and also boot back up into SteamOS. But you know me. Let's not waste any more time and let's get right into the video. So like I was saying in the intro, we're going to be dual booting Botticera on the Steam Deck. So what that means is we're going to be able to boot into Botticera like you see now, but if we turn off our machine, remove the SD card, it'll boot right into SteamOS like usual. So this gives you the functionality to keep using SteamOS like the Steam Deck was meant to do and to also boot into Botticera and have this awesome custom emulation set up. So for this video, you're gonna need an SD card. You see here, I have got Come on camera, 1.5 terabyte sand disk. That'll be perfect. And then I've got this dongle dongle dingle. So we're gonna use, we're gonna plug the SD card into the dongle and then we're gonna plug this dongle into our computer. Now, if you've kept up with these steps so far, let's go ahead and head over to our Windows machine. We'll plug this in and I'll show you what to do next. All right, so back over here on our Windows machine, we're gonna go ahead and head to the web browser. Now, this also works for Mac OS and Linux as well. The download links will just be slightly different, but we're gonna go ahead and search for Botticera. And I'll leave it big on the screen so that you can see what you need to search. And I'll also leave links in the description to the two things that you need. So if you just, you know, wanna just click the links, go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and click this top link here or the link that says Botticera.org. We're gonna to go to get Botticera Linux 42. And we see a picture of the Steam Deck. We're gonna click download. You put that wherever you wanna download it and go ahead and press save. And we'll let that download. While that's downloading, we need one more program. So whether you're running Windows, Mac, or Linux, the link will be different. But we're gonna search for Belina Etcher. And we're gonna click this top link. If it's not the top link for you, look for what you see on your screen now. <laughs> we can click the download etcher button. It'll take us down here to the bottom. And now you'll see what I was saying. You've got the Windows option, the Mac option, and the Linux option. So whichever one of these you're using to install Botticera, just, just grab it. So for me, I'm getting Windows. We'll click download here and we'll save it. Once you have the Botticera image downloaded, and once you have Belina Etcher downloaded and installed, you can go ahead and open Belina Etcher. Now from here, we're gonna go ahead and click flash from a file. But before we do that, I told you earlier, I've went ahead and inserted my SD card into my machine. If you haven't, go ahead and do that now. And then we can click flash from a file you're gonna to wanna to go through and locate where your Botticera image is. Mine is right here, so I'll click that and I'll click open. Now it's asking for select target. This is where we're going to point Belina Etcher to our SD card. Once you get to this menu, whatever options on here, one of them should be your SD card, but make sure, triple quadruple check and make sure. For me, luckily I've got a one terabyte drive and 126 gigabyte drive, so there's no confusing which one is which. The one I'm gonna wanna be using is this one terabyte drive. So I'm gonna select it, and then I'm gonna click select. And now we're ready to go. All you've gotta do is click flash, and then wait until it's done. Once it's done, we'll head back over to the Steam Deck and I'll show you what to do next. All right, I heard Botticera finally finished installing for you. So let's go ahead and close out of Belina Etcher. We'll head down here to this arrow here. We will click the safely remove hardware and eject media button. And then we will eject our disc, whichever one that you know that you need to be ejecting. Once you eject the SD card, you can go ahead and remove it from your computer and plug it back into your Steam Deck. Now, make sure your Steam Deck is turned off for this next step and plug your SD card in and we'll continue. All right, I've got my SD card here. We're gonna go ahead and jam it up inside of there. Boom. I've got my SD card jammed up in here. All we've gotta do 
is hold the volume down and press the power button. So I'm going to do that now. I press the power button and I'm just going to keep holding the volume down. Keep holding the volume down and we'll end up on the boot manager. And all we've got to do on my screen, it's showing as Botticera. For you, it won't show that at first. At first, it will show this SD card option. I'm sorry for the camera. There it is, right there. So you'll go and click on that. Once you boot into Botticera for the first time, it will create this option here. So in the future, you can use this. But once you scroll down to your SD card option, it even tells you on the screen, go ahead and click A to select. Here in a second, we're going to be booting up Botticera. Bazinga. And there's Botticera on this OLED Steam Deck. And like I said, we're dual booting. So here in a second, I'll cut it off. You see, there's Botticera running there. Let me go ahead and cut it off very quickly. Let's go ahead and cut this off. Now that I've cut it off, I'll remove the SD card and I will turn it back on. Here it is, you see, now it's back on regular Steam OS. So, if I ever wanna boot back into Botticera, all I do is take my SD card, jam it back in there, and restart. So, that's gonna wrap up today's video. If you like what you saw, give the video a like. If you really like what you saw, subscribe, come on. All right, hey, let me know in the comments below. Do you have a Steam Deck? Have you thought about picking up a Steam Deck or Legion Go or any of these uh, powerful handhelds? Um, Semi-powerful, I should say. <laughs> anyways, anyways, yeah, let me know in the comments below and I'll catch you in the next video. Ah. Shout out to all of my YouTube members. You know that at the end of the videos, I shout all of my YouTube members out. <clears throat> and I've got all of you memorized and I wonder if I can keep this up as we grow, but... Shout out to Steve, good old Steve. Shout out to Foosh. Shout out to IJ. Shout out to Ian Ludi. And shout out to RC from NYC. But all right, get the hell out of here. If you stuck around past when I told you to get the hell out of here, well, congratulations. I've actually got a gift for you. So if you've got a Steam Deck and you just installed Botticera, or maybe you've already got Botticera installed on it, and you just want maybe some useful tips or tricks, well, all the videos that I make on my channel will work on the Steam Deck. So you got RGSX, the games downloader. If you're wondering where do I get BIOS, watch that video on my channel. You can do the same thing on the Steam Deck. And Bob's your uncle. You can install RGS. You can install RGSX. You can install the BUA. You can do all of the modded Botticera and unofficial Botticera things on the Steam Deck. I figured I'd leave that here for anyone who stuck around because I think sometimes people assume that the Steam Deck is separate from other computers when in reality, it's just a computer. <laughs> it's just a computer. So again, all the videos that I make on my channel will work for the Steam Deck. It's just something to think about if you're a Steam Deck owner. 